Happy Friday, my ASVAB party people. Coach Anderson here, and in this video, we are gonna get some mental math practice. So today, we're gonna be doing addition, and make sure you're following, so that way you can see tomorrow's subtraction mental math video as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's understand the reason why mental math is so important on the ASVAB really quick. First things first, when you are taking the ASVAB, remember that when you're on the word problems, well, guess what? There's two phases to a word problem. There's the setup, and then there's the calculation. There's nothing worse than taking so much time, more time than necessary to figure out what the right setup is only to find yourself running out of time completely because, oh yeah, I have to calculate two and now I got to figure out how to do it quickly. And then you put yourself in a position to make a mistake. So what does mental math help you with? It helps you get an advantage. Guess what? Two minutes and 26 seconds for each question. You can give yourself so much more time if you can go ahead and calculate without hesitation. So that's why when you're going ahead and working on word problems, if you know your mental math, you can cut the time that you need to calculate from a minute down to 50 seconds, down to 40, down to 25, potentially down to 15 seconds. The more confident you get, the more time you have for those bigger word problems. Let's get started here. Let's zoom on in. Let's start off with 37 plus 18. When we're trying to do mental math, what can we do to save time? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be doing this. It's not going to be doing that. Writing anything down when you don't need to is a waste of time. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you right now that 37 and 18, we're going to do this thing called split and glue. I'm going to split the numbers up into easier numbers to look at and then glue them back together. So watch this. If we're adding... 37 and 18, I'm going to treat it like this. I'm going to think about 30 plus 10, which in my head, I'm going to write this down, but this is in my head. In my head, that's going to be 40. Also, when we take a look at 7 plus 8, that's going to be 15. So we essentially have, in my head, 40 plus 15. Isn't that a lot easier to think about? 40 plus 15, that's pretty easy. That's 55 and we're done. So we can apply this nice, simple strategy. If you practice this over time, you are going to save time. So let's look at the next one and see how this is going to help out. We have 88 plus 99. There's actually another technique you can use here to make things even easier. But with the split and glue technique, here's what you can do. You can ask yourself, hey, what's 80 plus 90? Well, 8 plus 9 is 17. So 80 plus 90 in my head, 170. So you have that again, I'm writing this down, but this is in your head, 170 plus eight plus nine is 17. So 170 plus 17, that's 187, right there. A different strategy that you could have used for this particular one is, hey, notice that you're one number away from 100. Let's take one from here and put it there. That's 100 now. If I took one away, that's 87. 87 plus 100, 187. Look at that, just using a little bit of logic to go ahead and break something down that looks complex into something much, much easier. That's what mental math provides you with. You're doing something that you know how to do. You're just thinking about it in a different way to help you save time. Split and glue. So here we go, 43 plus 72. Do we need to split and glue here? Not really, because you can go ahead and do 3 plus 2, that's 5. 40 plus 70, 110. 110 plus 5, 115. You're done. You're done. Next up, we have 76 plus 28. Again, split and glue if you want to. 70 plus 20 is 90. 6 plus 8, 14. So we have 90 plus 14. That's 104, and we're done. So again, give yourself the chance to do things in a much faster and calmer way. Up next... We have 54 plus 37. I can say 50 plus 30 is 80. 4 plus 7 is 11. 80 plus 11 is 91. Again, you can do this in your head. You can essentially, and I'm being for real here, you can calculate this you know, addition here faster than someone else can write it down to add by hand. You can actually become faster than someone who is writing it down. Like you're done before they finish writing down the problem. That's insane, but it's possible with the practice that you can do. So next up, 
91 plus 35. Well, here you don't really have anything, you know, one plus five is gonna be six. 90 plus 30 is 120, so 126. Nice and easy, right there. Next up, 68 plus 47. 60 and 40, that's 100. Eight and seven is 15, 115, you're done. So notice I'm going a little faster now to show you how quickly you can actually think about this in your head with just a little bit of practice. And again, tomorrow we have subtraction, so stay tuned, make sure you're following me on this channel, that way you can see that video tomorrow. And as always, if you want more practice just like this, I do have a full program. Check that thing out at www.duranlearning.com since it's the weekend, or you can go ahead and shoot me a text. My number's right there. That way I can go ahead and reply Monday morning and help you raise your score. I got you. Next up, 49 plus 62. Well, what's this gonna be? 40 plus 60 is 100, nine plus two is 11, 111. Done. All good. 17 plus 29, well, it's 10 plus 20, 30. Seven plus nine is 16, 30 plus 16, 46, and you're done. So we can go ahead and say that, boom, all good. Another way you can think about it is just adding one at a time. So you can add the 10 over to make 39, then add the seven to make 46. Splitting and gluing, just the same. Next up, we have 99 plus 78. This is one where I won't have to split anything up, I'm just gonna borrow one. If I take one from right here and put it over here, this is 100 and this is 77. So that becomes 177. Again, noticing that I'm really close to 100, we can take advantage of that, give ourselves a much easier time. Next up, 35 plus 48, 30 plus 40 is 70, five plus eight is 13. So we have 70 plus 13, 83, and we're done. Again, this is absolutely possible for you. I'm not sitting here trying to be some messiah of math. No, this is absolutely possible for anybody out there who's willing to put in a little bit of consistent time to get to where they need to be. So lastly, over here, we have 57 plus 59. 50 and 50 is 100. 7 and 9 is 16. 116. I am absolutely 100% serious when I say that anybody can do this just like you can. So my party people, as always, I'm Coach Anderson. Looking forward to seeing you in tomorrow's subtraction video. Make sure you're following. And as always, raise your score with me at duranlearning.com or shoot me a text at 567-698-8867. That way, again, you can get the score you want and that job you deserve. I'll see you next time, my party people. Cheers. You made it to the end of the video, so I know you're taking your test seriously. I know you want to succeed just as much as the next person, but you're the one that's willing to put in the work. So, if you want to learn more about how you can raise your score, text me. My phone number's right there. You can text us 24-7. We've got your back. We'll respond when we can. That way, you can be put in a position to raise your score without all the test anxiety and all the confusion. That's what we're here to do. Let's clear up the confusion. Let's raise those scores. And let's get that job you deserve. Cheers, my party people. Coach Anderson out.